So, what do you see? Who is he? And what is he doing? Meet Eric. He's from one of the roughest parts of one of the most dangerous cities on Earth. The Mexican border town of Ciudad Juarez. It's on the very front line of the so-called war on drugs. So now what do you see? Does he hang out with the gangs? Does he carry a gun? Does he take drugs? Does he smuggle them across the border? No, he's just like us, studying at university and learning music. Here he's performing rap for the TV camera in what turned out to be one of the most inspiring stories of my whole global research into peace journalism. You see, the way we understand a story all depends on how it's being framed, what's put in and what's left out. Now, peace journalism frames in background and context, the voice of all parties, creative ideas for solutions, challenges to propaganda, and images of peace. In Eric's story, that background revealed how many children in Juarez live in poverty. So some joined drug cartels just for a job. The community centre who rescued Eric from the streets also provides after-school care for kids who otherwise return to empty homes. Eric described the love he received at the centre, as well as a meal and finance for university, an image of peace indeed. Now, war journalism leaves all of those elements outside the frame. Instead, what's put in is sensationalism, violence, and labels like goodies and baddies. So the war journalism version of Eric's story uh, left Eric out. Instead, we saw dramatic images of men with guns riding in military vehicles and politicians talking tough about a crackdown on the bad guys. Watching it, audiences said, Empty news! I feel angry, angry, angry! No justice, no solution! Boring! I just switched off. But the audiences who watched peace journalism said, I feel some tranquility, some hope, some empathy, a positive touch to encourage good things, showing me how I can be part of the solution. So you see, people not only feel better when they watch peace journalism, they also become more receptive to holistic treatments for social problems. And that could mean sending street kids like Eric to university, rather than locking them up or shooting them. And as one woman said, oh, if all the news was like that, I could even watch it before going to bed. <laughs>